Hi everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with a vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different softwares and on different topics related to civil engineering field. For that, our different faculties are working day and night and they are making videos over different topics also and they are also open for the live online classes. So guys, if you want to get the professional training from our institute, then you can simply register yourself in the link given in the description box and our team will connect with you. Now let's come to today's topic. So in the last video, you can see that uh, we have discussed about the grid lines. So we have learned how you can modify the grid lines according to your need, how you can just displace it from the origin, how you can change the colors of different levels and everything. And in today's session, we are supposed to talk about the views. That is how you can create different views in Tecla structures. So without wasting the time, let's start. So you can see over here, this is our grid line. Okay. And now we have to deal with the views. So for the views, you can see we have the windows option on the top right corner. Okay. And over here, you can see we have different views. That is a cascade, tile horizontally, tile vertically, close all views, view list and view one that is 3D. So in the view list, you will get the different views that are there in the model. Okay. So to analyze the view properly, we are going to model something. So let's say first of all, we will model a column. Okay, so let's keep it four columns and we will also discuss about the modeling of the columns and the beams in our upcoming videos. But for now, we will simply just model a beam. Okay and a column so that we can have a better idea about the view itself. So let's place the beam first. So in the next video, we are going to discuss how you can properly model a beam and a column and all the elements that you can model over here in Tecla structures. But for now, just to have a reference, we are going to create a model over here. Now we can easily create the view. So to come out of any command, you will have to simply press the escape button on your keyboard or you can simply right click on it and click on interrupt. So these are the two methods of coming out of any command that you are using in the class structures. Now let's uh, go for the creation of the view. So you will have to simply select any grid line over here. Okay and then right click on it over here you will find an option of create view so we already have a 3d view but we are going to create the views along the grid lines so click on this one now you don't have to just play with all these options however you can always do that like uh, you can choose which one you want to create like in the xy plane you want to one first or one last or all or none and what kind of view you want okay so these are the basic things so you can simply start exploring the options and you will know bit better about this okay but right now we are going to create the views so you can see we have all the grid lines mentioned over here and for all the grid lines we have different views over here so let's focus on this one so we have if you can count then three grid lines one two three and three grid lines a, B, C. So we have views along grid 1, grid 2, 3 and A, B and C. Okay. So we also have the plan view at different levels that is 0, 3000 and 5000. So you can see on the right. Okay. On the Z coordinate, you can see we have three different levels and these levels are named like plus 0, plus 3000 and plus 5000. So the name of the views along any grid will be according to the name of the grid. So over here, we have named it like this. So it has been named it like this plan 0, plan 3000 and plan 5000. If you will simply change the name over here, it will automatically change over here. Okay. So that's a different thing. And we will learn each and everything in process in our upcoming videos. So for now, let's create a view along one. 
along 2 okay let's not make it for 2 let's make it for grid A and then let's make it for plan 0 okay so we have these four views with us now let's close this one and also close this one so now you can see we have this view now if you will just go to windows and over here you will select for cascade and you can see this views is appearing in cascade view like we have the plan then we have the grid a grid one and then we have this 3d view okay so you can again just change everything and see what is appearing over here okay so for now let's look for the tile horizontally if you will tile horizontally then you can see that we have different views like we have this view along the red line one and we are looking at different levels of model okay now the 3d view is the one we were much familiar with then we have this grid a and then the view that is plan zero okay so you can see you can see the columns from the top over here now let's try to shift this column this is why the views are important okay so if you will just look from the plan zero then you will know that over here while 3d modeling you have just shifted the column wrongly okay so now you can easily make changes over here so that is why views are important now you can simply drag it over here okay now when it comes to the beams then you can also shift the beams too like you will select the beams you will bring it to the right position and again you can select this beam and correct it so you can see the beam has been corrected now comes the this point okay so this point can also be dragged over here so this is how you can simply make changes in the columns and the beams and for all the changes you must have seen how it was modified over here like I will just press Ctrl Z so that you can see the modification in the 3d view okay now let's redo it by pressing Ctrl Y so you can see over here how it is changing so this is why views are used now you can see you can't find anything over grid 1 but obviously if it is a view then you must find something over here so for that we are going to change the view so let's close this view and this view now we can click on the grid line and create more views so over here you can see now we can create another view like along the grid 3 because it is lying on the grid 3 and one more along the grid C because it was lying on grid C okay let's close it now you can see we have our views with us so you can see the level of the column is from 0 to 5000 which is also there if you will just go to the properties of the column which you can see your the bottom level and the top level then you can also measure the beam over here now so these are the few examples of how you can set the views and how you can modify this also if you want to look for the view list then you can always go over here and uh, like add or deduct any view like if you want to just deduct this one then you can simply bring it back and this view will be deleted okay now let's see how it will work in tile vertically so it will look like this where you can go for the 3d view plan view and the elevation view then if you will tile it cascade now then again you will find the same formats and now you can see everything in these formats so one more thing that you need to remember over here is that you will have to just 
लाइक कीप वर्किंग विद द व्यूज बट इन केस यू आर यूजिंग योर माउस टू सेट द व्यूज लाइक सपोज इफ आई विल रोटेट इट फ्रॉम द माउस बटन सो फॉर दैट यू कैन सी आई विल हैव टू जस्ट प्रेस द कंट्रोल की ऑन योर की बोर्ड एंड देन आई कैन यूज माई स्क्रॉल बटन टू रोटेट इट इन एनी डायरेक्शन एंड इफ यू विल जस्ट गो फॉर अ डिटेल्ड मॉडलिंग और यू कैन से यू आर वर्किंग ऑन अवी स्ट्रक्चर देन वॉट विल हैपन you will set it with such a view that you can't bring it back to the original one so in that case what you can do you can simply delete all the views and start working with a new one okay so that will be the simplest method to work with the view next okay so you can just close all the views from here okay so this is how you can close the views and if you want to bring all the views back then you can just go to view list and select the views that you want to bring back okay so this is just a simple method of bringing all the views back let's bring the plan 02 okay and now if you want to delete all the repeated views then you can also go back to the windows again and just go to view list select all the views over here and click on delete and all the other views will be deleted so now let's delete this one too yeah now if you want to recreate the views then you will have to simply go with the same process of clicking on the grid line then right click on it create the views along the grid lines and click on create and you can see that now you have the fresh views with you so you can use this method of deleting all the uh, views or closing all the views when you have wrongly placed something in the model and you can't get your perfect view again or if you have simply found that a lot of views are being repeated over here so in such cases you can choose this method of deleting all the views okay so guys i guess you have a decent knowledge of how the views work in tecla structures if you want me to make any video on any particular topic in tecla structures then you can simply let me know okay and i will definitely try to make a video on that till then stay safe at your home if you want to join our online classes then you can find the link in the description and if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel thank you everyone.